Hello and peace to all my subscribers, followers, family, and light workers alike out there. It's your boy Hi Dev, and today I did my first day of Bikram Yoga, and it was an amazing experience. Um, very intense. It's heated Bikram, and um, yeah, it was a great experience. I uh, did not expect to pass out in the middle of the class. A um, little embarrassing, but uh, nonetheless humbling. And uh, it was great. Um, also, I did not have enough water. <laughs> I was not hydrating myself enough you know, prior to the week. So the week prior, so um, two things. It's okay to be an overachiever as long as you're prepared and stay hydrated so for the beginners out there um, I highly recommend Bikram Yoga uh, to <clears throat> anybody pursuing a yoga teaching and meditation teaching um, it's highly recommended uh, I myself have practiced pranayama uh, yoga meditation also Kriya Yoga meditation, yoga meditation uh, for 10 years and uh, it's worked magical benefits in my life, amazing benefits in my life, but um, as you know there's, there's a lot a lot of different energy flows and concentrations of yoga and meditation so um, I'm giving this Bikram Yoga a challenge and it's, uh, it's very very good uh, so I highly recommend that it's good for the, you know, advanced, and it's also good for the beginner. So uh, definitely a good way to start out with some increasing your vibrations and sensation, and good experience all over the body, and the mind, heart, and soul. Um, <clears throat> so uh, also reading a good book. Uh, it's called. Let's see it here. There we go. Uh, Spiritual science, uh, Kriya Yoga. Um, this has helped me throughout my life. A uh, really good book. Uh, has all the postures and the breakdowns of science and everything you need to know. Um, <clears throat> also, writing my dreams down and um, also writing down the experiences throughout the day, um, sensations and experiences throughout the day, being more mindful of what your what I'm actually thinking, feeling, and doing throughout the day. So <clears throat> you uh, have a more continuous conscious flow of what is happening in your day and also when you go to sleep and what's happening in the astral plane, in the dream world, and uh, the spirit world. Um, this is also, I would go to say, more real than this dream, this matrix that we're alive here and talking and speaking and feeling and thinking and everything and smelling and tasting and looking and hearing and <clears throat> <clears throat> everything that we could sense <clears throat> in this third dimensional plane of existence um, which is a present, it's a gift of life um, that we honor and that we appreciate but don't get too caught up in it being the end-all be-all reality because um, uh, the spirit world is actually realer than this so uh, <clears throat> it's just the fault of the matter is we've been asleep and lucid dreaming is a uh, very very um, great way to fuse the two, uh, merging all the consciousness states of your existence and your being into one and you realize how um, amazing and almost like a game or a matrix or you know what you can do in this world and you magic is real when you realize <laughs> magic is very real. Um, You know, all great art and great music and inspiration 
comes from the conscious, you know, comes from the heart, from the spirit. And that is connected into the astral plane, into the ethereal. And um, so for those who follow their dreams, for, the, for those who follow their inspiration at the moment, and for those who follow your heart, <clears throat> you're 100% doing the right thing. Um, don't let yourself or anyone else tell you that, oh, you need to be more logical, you need to be more this and that and that and that and that. This is true, but this is all surface mind. And that has a place, a time and a place as well, but that shouldn't take the place of, you know, your existence. It shouldn't dominate who you are and how you feel and the way you feel and the way you experience uh, sensation, the way you experience uh, body, the way you experience mind, the way you experience heart, um, the way you experience God. And all of this is God. <clears throat> so, three things, your heart, your dreams, your inspiration, those three are the major keys to experiencing and existing in a more reality sense of life. So two, three important things, um, writing your dreams down and your daily occurrences, t taking a journal of your dream world and your three-dimensional world, and then do your research. <clears throat> do a lot of research, uh, philosophies, practices. Um, I highly, highly, highly suggest and recommend a good form of yoga and meditation uh, that suits your body, that suits your persona, and also suits your, your speed of development, of conscious evolution and development. Um, <clears throat> um, yeah, and continue to keep the heart and brain communication in synchronicity. And then um, you'll just watch all the rest of your life just flows in uh, synchronicity. And there's no such thing as separation uh, of death, of time, of fear. Um, all of this is an illusion, uh, a sickness as well. All of this is an illusion. And uh, just to know that that's an illusion, uh, be joyous about it. Be joyous and understand that now you have complete mastery through unconditional love, joy, sensation, and experience. Uh, that God has designed you to be infinite and immortal. So, no fear. <laughs> uh, death, time, sickness, and separation and competition are all alive. <clears throat> so, um, continue to live your dreams. Continue to spread unconditional love. And continue to be blissful, joyous, and kind to all life and all life and all matter because all life does matter and it is matter and your consciousness consciousness transcends all matter and God is consciousness and you are matter experiencing consciousness and also consciousness experiencing matter which is all God so God 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 love 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 <laughs> Um, yeah, that's it. Just wanted to share that with you guys and uh, lots of peace, love, unconditional love, and kindness. Continue to feel good in the body, in the mind, in the heart, in the soul, and wake up every day as a god and a goddess, a king and a queen. We are all one throughout the universe, through all time, space, and matter. So be present and know thy true self. Peace, love, and harmony. 
It's your boy High Dev signing out, and catch you on the next video.